Hi everyone! With weight painting and transforms out of the way, we've made it through the last of the concept videos. At least the ones I can think of for now. So we can get back to the fun stuff, which is editing meshes. Today we're going to talk about moving vertices, either in groups or individually. To make your outfits look great, you'll often need to do this type of detailed mesh work. Here are the steps we'll go through. For this exercise, we're going to use the shorts mesh that we created way back in video 12. When we cut the pants off, it left things looking a bit messy. So we're going to clean that up and get these shorts ready for something much more exciting. This shorts mesh is going to be used for a number of examples coming up, so I hope you've been following along. To move vertices around, we have three main approaches. The most blunt tool we have for this is the transform tool. You can select only the vertices you want to move and then click and drag on the little arrows of the transform tool to move them around. The movement is restricted to only one direction at a time and there is no fall off. All the vertices that you have selected will move precisely the same distance. The move vertices brush is a nice way of moving vertices across areas of your mesh. You can change the brush size and strength, and the brush applies fall off when editing, which means that vertices are affected more or less depending on how close they are to the center of the brush. This makes for smoother editing in many cases. For really precision editing, the Move Vertex tool is a great option. But note that its function is true to its name, and it literally only moves one vertex at a time. Sometimes that's what you really need, though, so don't forget about this option. When you select either the Brush or the Move Vertex tool, some additional buttons will appear over here on the left. We will cover those as we work with each tool during this video. If you'd like to follow along, load in the size 0 shorts we made back in video number 12, which, if you remember, we renamed to pants underscore zero dot nif so that we could test it in the game. I'm also going to bring in the demo top so I have the body here as a reference point. Then I'm going to hide the top and load in a bra to keep this video family friendly. Let's go ahead and rename the pants to shorts so that we don't get confused. Okay, now we're going to use the transform tool to move some vertices. Click on the pencil so we can see them and mask everything except one row of vertices here underneath the leg band. When we chopped off these pants, we left some fabric sticking out below the band, which doesn't look very good. So we need to move them up until they are hidden. I'm going to keep the mirror toggled on so it will make the same change on both sides, and then I just drag the green arrow up to slide all the vertices. Notice how all the vertices move exactly the same way and distance. As I mentioned before, there is no fall off with the transform tool. Now let's make these into shorter shorts. There are different ways to do this, and I'm going to show you two approaches. First, select all the vertices in the area that we want to adjust. Then make sure all the leg band vertices are also selected. Highlight both meshes in the list, clicking on the shorts mesh last so that we can see it. To squish these rows of vertices together, I'm going to move this whole area up a little bit, then hit D to deselect the top row, move the area up again, hit D again, move up, hit D, move up, and so on, until the shorts are the length that I want. This method doesn't work perfectly on these shorts because the vertices are not arranged perfectly, but it works really well on meshes that have very nice, even rows of vertices. An alternative method is to drag the green box to squish all of these rows together, and then move the whole chunk up at the end. But if we do that on these shorts, we first need to deselect the leg band so that it doesn't get distorted, and then mask the rows of vertices under it so we can keep things lined up. Then we can squish with the green box, slide these up with the green arrow, and now select only the bottom rows and the leg band, and slide those up. 
Then we use the inflate tool to bring the fabric back out of the body. But we only need to worry about doing this on the leg band side because we're gonna fix the rest of this later. There we go. Note that either method of shortening a mesh will only look good if your texture does not have an obvious pattern. If it does, you're gonna to have to get a lot fancier, which I won't cover until later in this series because it probably involves having to edit the UV map. All right, so we're done with the mesh editing, but we are gonna get clipping in the game with these shorts since our weight painting does not match the body underneath anymore. Before we get to fixing that, Let's review the other tools first, and we'll worry about weight painting at the end. Outfit Studio has a nice tool up here for moving vertices with the brush. This will move all unmasked vertices within the brush radius, which is the red circle. And unlike the transform tool, it applies what we call fall off to the movement. All that means is that vertices are not moved equally. Those closest to the middle of the circle will move the most, and those farther out will be moved the least. This can give us smoother looking edits. Let's apply the Move Vertices brush to adjust the waistband. I'm going to move this waistband in the back down and the one in the front up so that it's all in a bit more of a straight line. Note that with this brush selected, we get some additional toggle options over here on the left. We can tick this one to restrict movement to be parallel to the mesh surface. So when I slide my mouse side to side, the vertices just move across the surface. And if we tick the other one, it will restrict movement to be perpendicular to the surface. So now when I slide back and forth, the vertices move in and out from the fabric. I'm going to leave them both ticked off for editing these shorts, but don't forget that these options are here. They can really help if you are having trouble getting your mesh to behave the way you want. To finish off, we use the inflate tool to pull this out a bit, and we can clean up the messy bits with the smoothing tool. There we go. We will do some additional cleanup in the next step. The last thing I want to show you today is the Move Vertex tool. Just like its name implies, it will only move one vertex at a time, but it does this very well. I'm going to use this tool to clean up the edges of the waistband since it got a little messy with the brush. This tool is perfect for making precise tweaks. Just like the brush, we get some additional toggle options over here on the left when we select this tool. We can restrict the motion to the mesh surface which means I can't pull the vertex out away from the mesh. We can restrict motion to be parallel to the surface, so it only moves vertices along the same plane. We can restrict motion to be perpendicular to the surface, and now you can see it will only go in or out from the mesh. And so here we have our cleaned up shorts mesh. We made them shorter, straightened out the waistband, and cleaned up the fabric that had been poking out below the leg band. But remember, there is one more very important thing to consider before we can call it done. We have to redo the weight painting. If you only make tiny adjustments or if your mesh sits far enough away from the body or other meshes, then you may not have to redo weight painting, but you should always check and make sure. Use the pose function here in Outfit Studio and also check how your new mesh behaves in the game. For these shorts, we made a significant change by shortening them and moving the waistband. And they sit very closely on top of the body. So we really need to redo the weight painting. Let's just use the body we have here as our reference since it's part of this matching set. Right click on the body mesh, set reference, then select both the shorts and leg band meshes, right click and select copy bone weights. The default values are fine, so click okay. Now we should be good to go. You can either save your project if it is for body slide or export your new NIF back to its original folder if you are working on an existing outfit. 
If it's an existing outfit, be sure to also fix up the size one version, just like we've done here for size zero. Otherwise, you will break the weight sliding in the game. Or if you want, you can hold off on doing that until later, since I'm going to be showing you a handy trick for converting sizes in a future video. There are innumerable ways that knowing how to move vertices around will be helpful for your outfit work. Like I said before, play around with the tools and learn how they work. Then you'll be ready to choose the right approach for the right job. And don't forget to mix and match the different tools as you need in order to achieve the results you want. I hope you enjoyed this little exercise in moving vertices around on your mesh. Next up, we will cover mirroring meshes. We will be working on these shorts again, so keep them handy. Until then, good luck with your outfits, and I'll see you again soon for the next video. Bye.